Hey, what's up, guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. So I'm buying another dirt bike again. And this time it's gonna be a two-stroke. So stick around. You know, I was casually browsing uh, Craigslist like I usually do in the evening when kids are sleeping. I just kind of check the deals and everything. And there was one thing that caught my attention. And uh, it's really interesting because it's exactly the same bike that I just sold recently. It's 2004 KTM 250 SX. And uh, why it's so interesting is because the price is really good. And I gave a call to the guy and uh, we agreed upon a price that I just couldn't resist. And I'm gonna go and check it out and if everything is fine, I'm gonna have another 250 SX. You might think that I'm crazy, I'm getting exactly the same bike that I had before. But here is the explanation behind it. <clears throat> you know, I was, uh, I love the bike. The 250SX was working really good for, uh, for me and it was really nice. But uh, I wanted to get uh, maybe 300 or something else, you know, and uh, I also needed some cash for some other stuff, so I sold, sold uh, my bike. But then, what I really wanted to do, and I think it will be also great for channel and I think you guys will enjoy it too. I wanted to take, take my bike or take any two-stroke that I buy for real cheap. Take it uh, apart completely and then uh, check all the bearings, you know, make sure everything is nice, replace what needs to be replaced, do some powder coating for a frame and maybe swing arm and uh, do new decals with like dirt and iron and stay motivated on the side and maybe put bigger uh, gas tank, put some uh, flex bars on it and turn this SX, older SX into a really nice trail bike. And uh, the main thing of the build would be, be the heart of the engine, right? Uh, the heart of the dirt bike, the engine. And I wanted to change the 250 into 300. And that would be like the major thing I really want to do. I told to this guy who is uh, two-stroke guru he knows so much about two strokes and he's working on uh, you know doing big boards for big boards for two strokes his name is Eric Gore maybe you know him and he's really famous uh, for doing that and I talked to him recently and uh, he would like to help me out so he would do the big 300 kit for me on that uh, 250 SX so I'm really happy if this bike looks at least somewhat decent I'm gonna get it because anyway I'm gonna tear it apart you know go one by one through everything and then together you and me will build it together we'll go through everything I may ask you you know some uh, suggestions like uh, what kind of color combination or what to do you know on the bike so this would be our project we're gonna do together it will take some time because um, there will be some money needed for me to get all the parts I want to get so I probably wouldn't be able to do it in a month or so but it will be something we will do together it will be ongoing project and uh, Hopefully in like a few months we'll be able to uh, put a really decent enduro bike together that will also look pretty good. Alright my friend, so I'm gonna meet the guy uh, next like 40 minutes. I have about 50 miles ahead of me. I'll see you soon. Alright guys, so here we go. That's it. This is the uh, KTM 2004 250SX. And it's exactly the same bike that I just sold like a couple months ago. You know guys, right? You remember that bike that I loved so much. And this is the owner. Hey Kyle, how are you doing? Doing well, doing Good well. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Super excited. Yeah. Sad to, sad to see her go, but... <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, so... It looked exactly the same like my bike. Same turbine core too and everything. Yeah, I, I had the same exhaust and... Uh, I had different spring on it, probably this is a little softer. Mm. All right, my friend, so, so that's it, you know, it's exactly the same bike. I think this is a destiny, huh? <laughs> or fate or whatever you call it. So we'll try to listen to the bike a little bit. There is no packing. He took the packing out because it was too nasty, but I'll just do a new one. No big deal. Two-stroke, smoke's there. <laughs> That's after eight months of not really being, yeah. being ridden. He wasn't really riding this bike a lot, right? Nope. Well, how many rides did you have in the last two years? About five trips, 
all yeah. desert though, so it got some good good riding in on it, but not anywhere near enough. Mm. The past eight months, it's just been sitting around. Yeah, so not really a lot of riding. Definitely, if I have it, I'll put a little more hours on her. This is not my first uh, test ride. I took it for a ride at his house, but I didn't have my camera set up for the helmet. I couldn't do the video. So I'm already home. This is, uh, you know, the area I already know for my videos. And I'm gonna take it for a little ride. Man, this bike rips, <laughs> you know? I just flipped it over there because it rips more than, it just has more power than my old bike. And uh, I tried to wheel it in second gear and I gave it the same amount of throttle like I did on my other bike. And this bike just, just flipped it. So I have little scratches, no, <laughs> nothing major, but man, I like it. So let's go for the ride. so sweet and after all the work that we're gonna do together to this bike man this will be a really nice trail bike look low rpm it's jetted really nicely for my elevation but I think I'll do JD jetting because I like their needles, the transition. This one seems uh, has a lot of uh, kick when it comes to power band. It's not a bad thing, but for the trails, maybe you want to smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, I just couldn't resist. It was really good price, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid, because you know what's coming, right? If you want to get free T-shirt, this time I'm gonna give T-shirt to one guy who would be. Uh, first closest to the price I pay for that bike and I'll give you 50 bucks up and down so bike is mine I got the bike I got a brand new pedal tire I got a stand and then I got a bunch of uh, premix oil and uh, gearbox oil and also I got some uh, ramp so yeah it was a nice package deal uh, at the end he came down even from that uh, mound we were talking on the phone because uh, he wanted to help me out, Kyle wanted to help me out because I told him my plan about you know doing everything, taking everything apart and uh, I need to spend quite a lot of money to, to get her where I want her to be. So uh, he was fine with that and uh, we agreed upon a really good price. So if you guys guess the price correctly, I'm gonna ship you a free Dirt and Iron t-shirt. So let me know below in the comments uh, what do you think I paid for the bike and you can be 50 bucks up and down. All right, my friends, that's about it for today. Uh, next video, I'm gonna uh, show everything, show you everything in the detail, take stuff apart, and uh, we'll get to work, get uh, our hands dirty, you know, and uh, we'll do some planning together, like what we're gonna do to the bike, and <clears throat> I'll call a few people, and you know, see what kind of uh, what kind of uh, things we can do. My plan is to do like 300 kit, and uh, you know, uh, maybe new wheels, uh, new plastics, and this and that, and uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, power the coat thing, and check all the bearings, take everything apart. So I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys are uh, looking forward to something like that, to content like that on my channel. Also, let me know below in the description, if <laughs> below in the comments, if that's something that you're gonna uh, enjoy watching, you know, doing this kind of rebuild on my channel. I want to know what you think, I want to know your opinion. For now, thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget, whatever you do, Stay motivated. See you guys later.